So, you've returned. I assume Black Knight has joined our ranks? <laughs> Neither words nor sight had any effect. The fool persists in some fruitless quest. Indeed. It seems I am dealing with only fools here. Was I a fool to trust in you as well? Tarry here no longer, and for your sake pray that the others are less obstinate. Bring the knights immediately! Ah, we're both there. Nope. Yeah, like, doing this. This right here. I'm doing it deliberately right now, but doing that accidentally is how I got so many deaths the first time I played this game. Oh hey, Specky! Welcome back! If you ever miss out any wisp chests, I can summon them for contents here. But you know, supplies! I need gold! It isn't cheap to summon a wisp, whether it's for will or darkness. I've got nothing to sell you, you're so meticulous, Specky. But maybe I can still help! Let's see. Whispering? Okay, yeah, I know. Gotcha. Um. Nope. Let's try that again. Ah. Uh. There we are. I can't believe it! I can serve the Enchantress! I'm getting so fired up just thinking about it. Maybe I should come up with a new special move. Something to stand out from all those boring gold armors in Pride More. Yes, Mimic Fox. Give me the money! Grind, Blight, and Fire Sprite! Your feats are laid bare to my own knowing sight! Uh, 44 is the number of walls you've scaled. I haven't died yet, and I've spent 14 minutes in levels. Ish. Thank you, Bewitched Mirror. I'm not a mirror! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Haha! It sure is drafty in here, but still a carry on. Just a joke, you know. While scavenging for customers. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay! Awesome. After every level, except for maybe one or two, there's someone who gives you gems up here. So always look out for that. I am the edge farmer. I am. You think you're edgy, do ya? Oi! Oi'll be the chubba! Treasure that will- Oi will. Eh. My beloved, my be bro betrothed! My heart breaks, for her red skull lies misplaced. Oh, to see her crimson face once more! If you should happen upon a red skull, even a hundred of them! Then I beg you, please bring them all to me! In a past life, I hunted curious, but I'd trade them all away just to see my love again. Surely these would interest you. Uh, there's three of them here already? Hmm. Oh, thanks for the follow! Uh, well, I'll do this first because it's the most. It's probably the one I'll use the most. Ah, this curio is well guarded. While I can leave you there, you'll have to battle your way out. Okay then, thanks for stopping by. It would seem that a curse has been placed here. I'm afraid your scythe will be of no use. Why is that, you ask? Sorry, but that's an ancient skeleton secret. We'll regroup ahead! Tread carefully! 
Yeah, this is literally just the, this literally is just a healing power. So, oh. Ha. Huh. That skeleton curse was fiercer than I had thought. I guess I should, uh... There we are. Helps if I press the right button. Ow. That curio is no mere bobble, use it wisely. And into the closet they go. Uh, yep, yeah, let's see. Let's go up the dread tower. This area is cursed as well. Yep, yeah, they're all cursed. Except for one area, I think they are all cursed. No, come over here. Haha. That yep. And we're gonna do this one. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with a cloak. Perhaps I'll make an offering. <clears throat> the vessel is nearly full. We'll see what's there. Or we'll see where this leads. Eh. Okay, three times. And it evolves! Into whatever the heck this is. An abomination. State your business, abomination! Who are you? We are many! We like your gold! We like your cloak! Touch it! New powers, yes! We cloak you in darkness. Okay, it's the armor shop! The first time I played through this game, I used exclusively this one. Uh, which makes it so that instead of instantly dying when you hit a pit or a spike, you pop back up and you lose like three or four parts. Uh, also you drop less gold, but mostly it's for the not dying in pits thing. This time, however, I cannot actually afford the thing I want. Um. <laughs> okay. Huh. Well, what I'm planning on using is a different set of armor, which I'll show when we get it, but I, I mean... Hmm. BRB. There's another one of these here. Ah, uh, Mark of Curios. This one's more expensive. To activate. But once we do... We be legion! Curios gold, pay the up! Powerful we make! Uh, we can talk to this guy to upgrade our Curios for a massive investment. Um, I cannot afford to upgrade my Curios right now, but, you know, I have the ability, so there's that. That just leaves this room. Also, the other room on the far side that I haven't showed yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. Or, not a minute, but eventually. This is the, of course, Hail Lord Spectre Knight! Glory to the Enchantress! She entrusted me to operate this dark portal. Cross through it, and you'll reach your target in a mere moment. Shall I prepare the magic mirror for your departure, my lord? This is the level select. We can select any level right away. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, now, just for a change of pace, because we can do it in any order, uh, I'm gonna do... It's still advised you'd probably do King Knight first, but I'm not gonna do King Knight first. Just for the pure change of pace, I'm gonna save King Knight for last. 
This may backfire on me, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, with that in mind, definitely not doing you first. I I'm not a sap freaking masochist. Um... Let's see, one of these is... You're a thousand, so the reward for beating you is a thousand, so I could do you n based on that logic. Yeah, let's do... let's do Plague Knight first. Unless... No, let's do the Lich Yard first. My lord, are you prepared to visit the Lich Yard? Why, yes I am. The Reaper coming! They also remixed all of the music for the Spectre Knight campaign, which is really nice, I think. Like, it sounds... it feels really appropriate for the big bad evil guy that we are. Oh, wait. There's stuff there. Man, I've spawned a ghost on almost every single tombstone I've broke. I mean, I guess that's what I guess for, get for desecrating their remains. But even so, I forgot that those could bounce. Wait, I can't? Oh, no, I can't. So, uh, if you if you haven't played Shelvenic before, here's a mechanic you might know, or not know, um, as it were. I This is my checkpoint, right? If I die, I'll respawn here. I can smash this for treasure if I want. Um, and I'm going to, actually. Now, I will not respawn here because I smashed it. I could not have done that in the tutorial area in the first level, but I can do it now with any checkpoint, uh, yeah. Any checkpoint except for the, like, the very first one and the very last one. And I mean, like, in the game. When I say that. I'm not gonna smash all of them, but I feel relatively confident in smashing that one. We're gonna just wait for this asshole to get over here, because he, he hits pretty hard. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I was afraid that would happen. So remember when I said that I was confident that I wouldn't die? <laughs> well, here we are. So uh, when I die, I drop a lot of treasure. It's a percentage of how much treasure I'm carrying. I'm not sure exactly what that percentage is, but it's a percentage, and it's not its not like a small amount, usually. Uh, for the sake of completeness, be because I was talking about this in particular in uh, Hollow Knight, the jumping mechanic for Plague Knight here, like, the area I need to stand, so to speak, is different, but the mechanic is pretty similar to jumping off of someone's head with, uh, Plague Knight. Not Plague Knight. Damn it, Hollow Knight. There's too many damn knights. And combine that with Shovel Knight, where the positioning is the same? Like, Shovel Knight proper? And that is where I got my bouncing skills from. Also, playing on the controller helps. I am Spectre Knight! Boo! <laughs> oh wait, you're Spectre Knight! <laughs> Did I scare you? Chucked up and everything, just like you said. Indeed. I kept your hideout safe and sound! 
Only Specter Knight gets in here! Nobody else, not a soul! So, uh, yeah! This is Specter Knight's secret room. Plague Knight also has one. Uh, I do not think that Shovel Knight does. But I guess that makes sense. I mean, it is Shovel Knight. There's basically nothing in here. It's, it's just an easter egg, but like, this is his Spectre Knight's room, so I think it does inform the character quite a lot. Although, the ways it informs the character may not be obvious if you haven't played through his campaign yet. Still, I think it's a very interesting room. And like, a real, a real nice addition to the game. Nope, there we are. Oh, I forgot about these guys. I completely forgot about these guys. I hate them so much. You know what? This is actually a better way to handle them. That's a bomb! If I go into the water, I will die, so, uh, something to keep in mind there. So, this room is a thing. I could bounce off- I could jump off of that guy to sequence break up here, which I- Basically, I could do that, but I can actually just jump straight up, but I want the stuff over here. Oh, no, that was wrong. There we are. It helps that I already have an idea where the platforms are in there, but, uh, something I really like about this game, like, it has those dark sequences, but they're never really unfair. Like, it always gives you good cues for where everything is. Although, admittedly, some of those cues boil down to remember where things were where, when you could see it with light. Uh, but usually those cases are, like, Usually those are like small areas where that's the case. And then there's things like this. Which is also really good. And like, this game is just full of things like that where it does an excellent job of telling you where something is. I almost died there. It may do an excellent job, but that doesn't- oh. Well, I've done two. I think there's just the treasure over there. So, I don't think I missed anything. Important. Wait. Well, we'll see when I got to the, get to the end of the stage, I suppose. I wonder if I can sequence- you know what? I bet I could've hit that bug up and jumped up here off of it. I bet I could've done that. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, I missed. I have no darkness. That claw uses a lot, as it turns out. Wait, isn't there... I could've sworn. Well, whatever. Oh, that's an enemy. Mm. 
Like, I'm looking at my life and I'm going... I should probably do this. The flames here are a new mechanic for uh, Spectre Knight. Really simple to handle though, you just attack them and then they you put them out that way. Only temporarily, of course. And I think it's a darkness upgrade, actually. Haha! Okay, let's see if I can do this. Well, I mean, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but close enough! It worked, anyway. I gotta say, also, I didn't realize- when I first did this, I didn't realize I could put them out just by attacking them. So, uh, that was interesting. Like, I think right there is when I realized that I could put them out that way. Because, <laughs> uh, you don't actually tend to see this flame mechanic very often. So, this is the first level I encountered it in, in my first playthrough, even though I came to this much later on in that playthrough. Of course, it does hurt you if you walk straight into it. There we are, down we go. Get the treasure. Now, it's been actually a little bit hard for me to get back. Let's see what this does. Okay, it didn't kill him, but uh, it did a lot of damage. If, I, if that weapon was upgraded, that probably would have killed the giant skeleton. Also, something I haven't pointed out yet, but uh, the way Curios work for Spectre Knight here is they recharge most... Occasionally I pick up like a mana pickup, but the main way they recharge is by getting... Uh, by killing enemies. Every time you hit or kill an enemy, they give off... Uh, they give off stuff. Really. For recharging your curios. Was there anything out there? Okay, just I wanna double check. Okay, no skulls. On that mark? Okay, yeah, I have 10 out of 10. A surprise attack? Hardly benefiting uh, the honor. Hardly befitting the honorable warrior I had hoped to meet. Ah, the Rathius, the Rathius speaks of honor, having surrendered his own to serve as an errand boy. I merely invite you to continue your trials. At the behest of the Enchantress, her power is unmatched, and she expects this empty, broken husk to intimidate me. Your power is untrue. But mine comes from within. Let me demonstrate.
Okay, so let's just... Yeah, that's like a whole heart. Oh. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, that hurts. I should probably start hitting you. Ah, don't do that. That teleport move is the worst. Oh, no, he's not there anymore. I am almost dead. Uh, that came down right to the wire, too. But, uh, I'm trying to not spam my healing curios. <laughs> it is my secondary goal to use, in this playthrough, to use the curios, like the sub weapons, a lot more than I tend to, tend to do. Like, if you saw my Shovel Knight or Plague Knight playthrough, you know. I, except for one or, except for a couple of them, I almost never used those things. Problematic. There we are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you'd end up over there. And I win. You may match me in battle, but you and your cohorts are unfit to rule this land. Your days are numbered, wretch. I will roam free and see your kind vanquished to the last. <laughs>